thank you. Anyway, so, um, I'm Yasmin Cortier. I already told you that, but you know, I'm getting old, so I repeat myself. Um, I've been doing comedy for over 20 years. Yeah! 20 fucking years! And look where I've been starting at! Woo, the ref! Yes! I made it to the top! I'm talking shit, love you guys, ref. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Anyway, <clears throat> I knew I was in trouble when I was a little kid. My mom was like, yeah, somebody else giggling too. Yeah, I'm Persian. I don't know if you know what that means. Kind of like the cat. So we're famous for three things. Cats, caviar, and carpets. I, I have my own. Don't have to buy one. They're really expensive. But you know, yes, I can't afford one. Okay, so. And so, yeah, my parents are from... It's currently Iran, but originally it was Persia. Who knew that? Yeah. Five people. All right, one, yeah. Yeah, so Persia and Iran are literally the same thing. So I grew up in a traditional Persian household. My grandmother was a really strict grandmother. She was Muslim, so I wasn't allowed to eat bacon. Boo! So I'd go next door and borrow bacon instead of sugar from my neighbors. Hey, you got bacon? I tried that ham, that shit's good. <laughs> yeah, she'd come home and smell my breath. I smell pork. <laughs> just, yeah, I did trouble a lot, so. I was a Jack Muslim. I don't know if you know what that means. <laughs> you Jack Mormons out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, those only happy Mormons are probably in there now drinking, smoking, having sex in the bathroom. <laughs> That's what I did earlier. <laughs> just get this party started. Gotta have sex before a comedy show. Because afterwards you're like, exhausted. <laughs> Yes, you shouldn't actually have sex with a comedian because we're going to talk shit during sex, too. Not just before and afterwards. I'm like, that's it? That's all you got? Come on. I gave you five good minutes. <laughs> you could have at least given me three, so. I'm just telling you, so. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Right? Women, right? I'm just saying. You know, after I get mine, I don't give a fuck if you get yours. I, I'm worried about you. I'm just worried about me, 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 like the song. Anyway, so growing up as a little Persian kid in California, they thought I was Mexican. No, no, true, I get it, I get it, I could pass for all kind of things, you know. And I get, I, Gucci, Gucci, I mean, whatever you want me to do, titty, 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 kitty, it doesn't matter. So being a Middle Eastern kid, growing up, thinking everybody was, so I had to learn the difference between Pinto beans and garbanzo beans and different between ay 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 and ah! <laughs> Don't worry. I do that two times that we do that when we make that noise. So if you hear me go, ah! it either means I'm having an orgasm <laughs> or I'm ready to go into battle. <laughs> either way, somebody's busting a nut. <laughs> We're having a good time, right? <laughs> the Middle Eastern just has its, its drawbacks, of course. Because we're very hairy people. I mean, literally. I have 5 o'clock shadow at 11 a.m. Literally, it's growing. Right now, I need a razor. I can feel the shit right now. You guys are all worried. Look, oh, my hair is growing in my ear and in my nose. I'm like, dude, I was five years old. My grandmother sat me down and she said, Too bad you weren't born a boy. And I said, I got a unibrow, a mustache, and a beard. Are you sure? <laughs> just, just missing the woohoo. <laughs> Something missing. So yeah, growing up, looking like a boy, thinking they were Me I was Mexican. So yeah, if I'm traumatized, it's their fault, not mine. And all this gender identity, I had gender identity issues a long time ago, dude. I'm an expert. <laughs> so it was like, fuck you, yes, me. It's cool. Just trying to be current and shit. Today's times. I mean, I'm just maybe I better greet you guys the right way. Hello, welcome, he, she, we, they, us, and them. Did I miss anybody? Him. Oh, did I, did I said him. Oh, I missed somebody. Himself. Demon self. Yeah, so whatever your denomination or your belief system, or whether you have a penis or not, you're welcome here. We'll talk shit about you no matter what. <laughs> This guy here's brave. He's right in fucking front. I love this guy. So yeah. Uh, so being Middle Eastern kid, growing up in the United States is very interesting. Like I'd invite people to my house to come and eat, right? And they'd come over and they thought my shit was weird. Like 
I'm giving them, you know, bulls balls and, you know, lamb tongue. They're like, come and have hot dogs. I said, you know what's in a hot dog? The same shit I just fed you. Now you just know what's in it. <laughs> just, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Persian food's actually bomb, okay? I'm a foodie. Who's a foodie out here? Anybody else? Thank you. Anybody had shish kebabs before anybody? Yeah. Right, you guys like your food skewered just like I do. So yeah, I am a mature woman. I don't know about mature, I'm just older, I guess I should say. And so being a, an older woman, I don't give a fuck anymore, I'm <laughs> just saying. And during sex, I don't give, I don't care. Hurry. And you know what, I am tired of 40 year old guys telling me I'm robbing the cradle. Really? You're middle age. How am I wrong? Here's your pinky. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank you, girlfriend. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you. I was a little I'm far from the corner over there. Yeah, don't be complaining and shit. Did you have a good time, motherfucker? Good. It doesn't matter how much older than I am. Of you and you. Well, I live younger than him. Dude, you see? She's already heckling me. Fucking bitch. Damn, trying to get up on my action. Okay, it's, I love you, I don't care. But we can do a threesome. Just pick one of these guys out here. There's a bunch of, oh look, we had a volunteer. Sir, thank you very much, later on. Her, me, you, threesome. All three of us will be in and on. Mm, mm, mm. See, there's gonna be one problem when shit goes down after the three of us are done. Later on, let's just pretend that's your girl over there. And it's not, I know it's not, but let's pretend. Fuck, use your imagination. Wow, talk about not playing along. Not a team player, maybe we aren't gonna have sex with you. We'll pick a different guy. Anyways, you can see already he's gonna be a lousy lay. He's gonna be talking through the whole thing. Anyway, here, shut up. Here, shut up. What I gotta do? So, let's pretend she's your girl, I come over, we get it on, okay? Good things can happen, and bad. The good thing is we all have a really good time. The bad thing is I could lick her pussy better than you. Could happen, right? And she leaves you for me. <laughs> Not a bad deal, come on now. Little cougar, action here. Or later on after she's, you know, you guys, a couple weeks go by, and she's mad at you, and then she goes, huh, why don't you have Yasmin come and make your fucking eggs for you? <laughs> well, don't be mad at me now, jeez, now, she, he already mad, she already mad, they're not even having sex yet. Maybe introduce each other, because remember later. Any of you guys having a good time so far, everybody?